Hey guys, bird and gals, if I have any female fans, which I highly doubt, in this part I'm taking on the Panther! And he's really hard, really tough to beat, so I wouldn't recommend you take him on first. I'd recommend down that you take on the Snake High Leg Autobuckle. Yeah, that's seriously his name. But anyway, I'm taking on the Panther because I'm I am lame like that. Of course. Well, anyway, I'm pretty much going to talk about a few things in this. Like for example. X skills. I will talk about how to, uh, how to get them. Well, it's actually easy to get them. You have to get A or S rank, but you have to get points. You can get 20 points for a time and 20 easy points for completing the mission itself. So, not that hard to obtain. You get 20 for uh, completing the mission itself up at 100%. You get another 20 for, um, uh, let's see, I'm trying to remember. You get them, uh, for beating the stage within a set time limit. And, uh, that gets you another 20 points. The less damage you take, the better. So, yeah. I suppose that's good enough for uh, that, for that talk. Anyway, the, you know you're getting an EX skill when you see the boss of the level using a certain attack that you normally wouldn't see if you're, uh, if you're B rank or below. Basically, the attacks you basic. I'm sure you. I'm sure if you see in any other playthrough, of, uh, playthrough or let's play of Mega Man N02, you is you'll know Pentel's EX skill because he ele he electrifies his rain as you will see soon enough. During boss battle I have with him. And there's literally only one way I can really beat Pentel. I really can't dodge any of his attacks unless I do a certain thing. And that is basically wall climbing the tra the train, so yeah. Anyway, this will basically destroy the mechanoids. There's there's a, sometimes there's one that appears from the right, but not but if if you stand in the middle, or where I'm standing, if you stand where I'm standing, ring, and if you destroy the ones that come by, it's basically a set pattern. From the left, from the top, the other one. So yeah, not so hard. No pun intended. I'm sorry, I just have to say no pun intended. Considering my friends, I have to say no pun intended. I need to say it. So yeah, I'm sure... Quite a few people know what I'm talking about and such. But really, I don't find that it's quite tough to beat this stage. I don't know, I just like... I don't know, I like it. Clockle. Cyber Elf Clockle. I like how they show you their names in, the, in Mega Man Zero 2, but it's just the names. They're just... They're just so weird. Anyway, do the boss! Oh boy. Oh. Hey you! Don't you know that this is Master Hatoon's territory? Ah, oh, minion of the Tristus Force? I shall stop you! Warning! Yeah, that warning appears for every freaking boss battle. You can either get on your nerves or you can either grow fond of it. And yeah, that's literally what I did through basically the entire boss battle. Well, not the entire boss battle. At some point I had to climb on the top of up of the train, so, to avoid an attack, so yeah. Anyway, here comes... Anyway, you're about... In a bit, you'll see you what attack Pantel uses when you know... You'll know you're getting an AX skill when you see Pantel electrify the train like he did... Like he just did. So at that point, you know you're getting an AX skill. He did that twice in a row! Thankfully, I was... Thankfully, I was uh, actually on guard. Anyway, that's Pantel. I decided since he was taking me off, I'd slash him in half. Ain't that a fun way to destroy robot masters? Although honestly, yeah, a charge slash probably does a little better. The charge slash is only does like eight damage and three and every eight damage eight damage points. Anyway, I got 
the Thunderbody Chip DX and the EX skill, Spark Shot, since I'm an earring. And I got a new form, the Rise form. Anyway, to get new forms, you have to uh, meet a specific a specific expectation like for example the rise form you had to destroy 30 enemies with a jumping slash so and of course for if you depending on what you like you can also end up up with different forms like for example there's the power form which you can pretty much get and if you use use the chain rod to pull 30 things I doubt it if enemies respond, then that's probably best. Anyway, yeah, that's what the rise form does. It makes the third slash go upwards. It can be useful, but I just prefer that it... I just kind of like that it gives me more speed, so yeah. There's that... As you saw, there was a sparse shot. It only works if you have the Thunder Body equipped. Just like most elemental AX skills, they need the body chip that corresponds to it. Anyway, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next part for when I take on Phoenix Magnion.